Hello and welcome to the Day One Patch Media Plays. Playing an older game now. To the D Day One Patch Media Plays? Yeah. Uh, Rogue Legacy. I'm Ryan Johnson. I am introducing us. Adrian Petty. Hey. You playing? Yeah. I'm going to let go. What's up? And uh, yeah, this game is was free on PlayStation Plus a while back. Adrian just bought it, but we're playing it on my console. Uh, go ahead, Adrian. But I am only loyal. I am loyal only to myself. Can I use the D-pad? Oh, thank God! If this was an analog stick only game, I'd be upset. That would be. I think I played with the analog stick though. Oh man! If it's if it's if it's two D, I gotta use the D-pad. I agree with that actually. Yeah. Even on the Vita, I played this game with that. I think. So basically, this game is somewhat difficult. So you might enjoy that aspect, Adrian. Well, you're supposed to. There's like a weird mm -hmm. dynamic where you're supposed to die, right? Like you're like, you're actually you, supposed to. I don't know if you're supposed to die, but it's like a weird way to progress or something, right? Different characters, like different lives. You can't choose. It's all kind of random. Have different like abilities or stuff. I think I think sometimes different weapons even. Right. And uh, the ob the objective is just kind of get as far as you can, really. Um, and obviously, you're gonna like get. Uh, coins and then you'll be able to do upgrades back at your little home base right right and uh, as you as you like progress further through the like these random levels which I believe are randomly generated to a degree. I, I that's what I thought I read one time attack that if I remember correctly like down press down up. you need to do that on top of that yeah oh, okay if I remember correctly isn't it like ah. you go into the dungeon and like it's gonna get progressively harder so basically what happens is is as you go you gain money and your money is persistent. So if you die, you start as another family member, and the only way the only way you can purchase upgrades is if you die, because it's you go back to town. Right. So that's kind of like what happens is you get to a point in which you get screwed over, and then you just slowly gain strength and eventually succeed. Yeah, at, that's right. At the place. Oh, was I supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> was I supposed to do that? I don't remember, but probably since it took you back to this thing. <laughs> Man. Yeah, so this is kind of like your home base thing. I already love this game. Or is it? No, you're starting a match here. Yeah, so as you, like, progress, you I think you slowly start getting more merchants and stuff. Okay. Kind of Metroidvania map, then. Mm-hmm. New map at any time. Okay. If you want to read this, you can pause it. <laughs> For the sake of this, I'm going to fast track this. To be honest, the story is not going to be that in depth. Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> that was a mighty close. Yeah, so already it's getting kind of difficult. I think I died here about six times. I have trouble, like, processing when multiple things are flying at me. Well, yeah, it's difficult, right? So... Well, I usually like I usually like watch a situation if I'm gonna problem solve, and then I, and then I approach oh my it. God. But when things are random and constant, I can't like track that much pattern, and then it's just a disaster. Should uh, we should play Castlevania, the original one for Nintendo? Oh God! Do we have the ability to hook that up. Uh, yeah, I have it on my on my Wii, or Wii U. Can you get it on your Wii U? Uh, yeah, I have. I I. Yeah, I think it's for sale. Okay, I guess I can't strike that. No, oh, but you can't play. I guess can you play your uh, download like Wii games on the Wii U? Yeah, I, I moved. I moved them over already. They're already on do. there. I, I I have to boot up a Wii within the Wii U, but I can do it. What's happening there? I don't know. It's uh, it's a screen. What's happening? What do you mean? The screen went all wonky. Jumped a couple times. I don't know. You I thought 20, you just got hit down. You have twenty percent health left. Yeah. Anything up here? So don't die. Well, you are, you are, like I said, you are technically supposed to, kind of. Yeah, you'll be able to go back and do some stuff if you're the. Uh... This guy here is a bastard. God oh, damn it! <laughs> it's just skeleton. There you go. Ooh. Are any of these traps there? Uh, like, like, are they? Who knows? Yeah, I, I actually couldn't tell you to be honest. What did I just pick up? MP, so mm -hmm. magic power. If you had, do spells. I have that ability yet, or am I going? No, one of your family members might. Oh, <laughs> I missed that one. 
Oh, does the painting go up on a wall where I died? He, no, no it's, not where you died. No, it's I like think... your manor. There you go. So you can go up and down and choose your air. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Uh, so he'll throw knives. He has like a mace. What's uh, to the left? What are those? I don't so know. Those are the two. So you started as Johannes. You died in that little tutorial thing. Then you oh, just when died I, as when Sir I, Lee. When I struck the guy? Yeah. So then uh, okay. you died as Sir Lee. And now this is the third generation. Yeah. I'm going with Sir Mark. This is kind of like... Um, do you remember... Um, what was that iOS game? Uh, where you went to like, the tower and you'd fight. I don't... You, you, you played two of them. Uh, what? You, it was like a swiping based game, and it was like a, you were like a soldier, like a a knight who went into a tower, and you'd fight your way through monsters, and you move up the, the tower until you get to the end, and then you restart. What I was the name of that game. I think I know what you're talking about. I don't remember the name of it though. Oh, man. Well, by the way, that thing that you skipped there, you could have bought a a, a um, blacksmith for your tower over here, or back in the other screen. I, I think the other screen. I don't know whether you can do go back to it, but I'm just pay the toll. Give all your money to enter it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the whole point, the whole point is, is I, I'm supposed to spend it. You're supposed to spend, spend as it much beforehand. As you can. Okay. All right. I got you. See how far I get. I'm not gonna die this time. Yeah. You can't save it, unfortunately. Or is it an, always in a state of auto saving? No. 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 I'm saying you can't save your money. Oh. You die. That's how much money you have for that that town run. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Already down 25%. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck here. These oh, yeah. Tough. These things. Yep. How do I... You, you attack down them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good 30 gold run on this one. Do it. Do it, man. These are pretty fun. You get five axes to destroy as many targets as possible. Leave less than ten standing, and I'll give you a special prize. Okay. I've never actually seen this before, to, left. to be honest. How do I throw this thing? How many do you have to hit? I have to have less than ten standing. I got two left. Nope, that was not good. <laughs> no. I don't think he got it. <laughs> Needed six more. You got a bunch of gold, though, eh? That's not too bad, eh? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Come on, man! No. <laughs> God! Okay. At least, I get, Mark. Uh, at least I get to spend my stuff, though. <laughs> oh, poor Sir Mark. <laughs> Look at the year. 58 to 79. Uh, actually, let's do this guy. All right. So, Matt, what should I... So, th you should buy this. This is this will purchase a smithy, and then in the smithy, you can purchase certain upgrades. And then you can always upgrade. Like, you're basically upgrading your little town. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at, you see how the... Oh, never mind. What the, the the grayed out like background? It wasn't covering the whole screen. On the left, there was a strip of stuff that wasn't grayed mm. out. So then this is health, and then this is mana. mana. Yeah. I'd say buy one more. Uh, the uh, like yeah, buy that, and then I would say, well, you're nice in a paladin's so rigorous training. So you go, and then I would say go and check what the smithy has now. So I'd exit the manor. And he should be there. Yeah, and I could talk to him and you can see what he has. I have to bring him blueprints. Okay. I didn't know that. No, you, you should have one. Go back up top. Go over. I have two, actually. Oh, yeah, there you go. 250 to unlock. There you go. Nice. Get a wait, wait, sword. so you bring him blueprints? Yeah. Yeah. Or you find them in the in the world, I guess. I have okay. So now, what do I have? What I have that one equipped? 
You yeah. have whatever like your guy would have. Equipped. If I didn't, okay. So yeah. now if I take this, there you go. Oh, it doesn't actually change the. I think I think they were like the same type of sword. Oh, okay. To be honest, this is a pretty good game on the Vita. Yeah, I just feel like a time waster. You have 165 health now. Holy crap, you already got 110 go? gold. What the hell? Well, shit, it's timed. <laughs> that I remember that always made me angry. You, you'd bounce yourself into the level, but not enough to to get anywhere. Maybe just reset. Oh my god, this looks like an advanced area. <laughs> oh man, this is the this is the get good test. <laughs> That gold's gone, man. <gasps> you got throwing knives. Spell, spell found? found. Oh yeah. Throwing knives is a spell. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like how he holds his sword <laughs> up when he runs. <laughs> Ran right into that. Holy crap! You're getting freaking destroyed over here. Are you blocking? Or are you? Oh, you're throwing stuff. What's a block? Didn't they say, say something about you being Yeah, you, could, you can block, but I don't know if he has a shield. You need a shield to block. Yeah, I think I think you need a shield. Get the chicken. Oh yeah. Nice. Night cape. What's a night, night cape going to do? I think it's just random buffs. Can I apply... Is Was that the blueprint for it? That's yeah. the blueprint, so yeah. I have to go buy it off the smithy. Break that uh, candelabra there. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't do that. It's not worth it, man. Well, yeah. Who is just supposed to sit there and do it, not run into it? See this crap? Like I, I can't do stuff, stuff like this. Oh no! I used to play a Garfield game like this. <laughs> oh shit! How are you supposed to do these? You hit from the side. Throwing knives, maybe though. Take no damage too for the fairy test objective. Can I jump on it as is? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Can you move up a tiny bit and hit it? He just got one foot on the ledge there. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess not. Ah! <laughs> Jump and hit it! Damn it! This is not, I'm not Objective gonna, failed. I, I'm gonna just come back. Are there secrets? Uh, there's, I think there's some walls that you can, yeah. But you'll be able, you'll be able to see, like, if you could or not. Yep. Defeat all, right, all the enemies. <laughs> Jump in that. <laughs> Just a zombie comes out of nowhere. Yeah, literally like a <laughs> corner with nothing in it. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Holy crap. <laughs> take, take those things out. There you go. No, okay. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Can this guy throw shit? No, I think he just has like a big swing. Ah, uh, yeah. What magic is that? They just vaporize when you kill them. Oh, and I don't like that dog. He's fine. He's friendly. You can tell by his eyes. Also say hello. <laughs> <laughs> right when you say hello as well. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, this has been episode one of Rogue Legacy. DOPM plays. Hit it, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs>